Basketball with Ronnie Huckabee. Hi and welcome to this week's edition of Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bison's coming off a 63-21 victory on Saturday night against Southern Nazarene and coach for the second game in a row. The Bison's more than 60 points, more than 600 yards, so a pretty good couple of games sandwiched around the bye week. Uh, Billy, for sure, and uh, you know, we'd like to be able to keep that up. We'll just have to wait and see. You know, that's, that's going to be a tough act to follow. Uh, but, you know, pleased with our football team's performance on a Saturday night. Uh, you know, had a lot of good things, you know, happen for us early, and that always helps, you know, when you get off to a great start. Uh, you know, they gave us great field position on the very first kickoff, and, uh, you know, our defense went out there and held them, and, and you know, it, it just went from there. Super positive things about, uh, you know, Kenny Kellett getting to get back out on the field. That was great for him, great for our football team. And again, we got a lot of people that got to get on the field and experience college football, and that's that's got to be a good thing. It's always fun to look back at a victory, and we'll start doing that after this break with the first half. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bison's at home after the bye week and uh, a chance to uh, get going with a great crowd, I thought, with parents' night, a lot of folks on, on campus. And uh, I know the Bison's were very excited to get back to action. And you mentioned the fact that your defense gets the football immediately to your offense and immediately we see Keenan Kellett. Right. You know, uh, first carry of the year. He runs it in for a touchdown. That's a great way to start. Uh, great for Keenan, great for our football team. And John knocks the extra point in, and uh, you know we're off to a good start, seven nothing. Now, this play, uh, you know, was 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 set up pretty good. Had a bad pitch, and that's to be expected a little bit, you know, with your first action. But Keenan comes right back. We execute the triple, great. Uh, get good blocks on the perimeter, and Ahmad Scott has a great uh, run for us right there. That was. Good to get him started early in the ball game. This is Romo on the inside, uh, handoff to the fullback. Uh, great blocking up front. He does a good job of b breaking tackles, and, uh, and that extra point was good. John knocked in nine of them the other night, so uh, it was good for that team, good execution. Got the triple going again. You can see the perimeter blocks out there. That's a great job. Our wide receivers have blocked super for us all year long. We think it's one of the strengths of our offensive football team. Not many times do you see Donatella Luck at this open. No, this was great play action, and uh, Keenan did a super job of getting rid of the football quick, got it to him early. And uh, Donatella's hard to cover anyway, but you know when you got your eyes in the backfield in the secondary, you're not going to cover him. The Bison's up 21-0 at this point. A good drive right here by Southern Nazarene took six minutes off the clock, but uh, the failed at field goal right yeah, there. Yeah, our, our defense has done a great job of keeping, keeping them out of the end zone in the first half for sure, and this is a toss to Ty Finley. We got an old offensive lineman, Nathan Cash, out in front of him working, working. Almost gets the ball uh, into the end zone. That was a 70-yard run for Ty. I think he had one carry for 70 yards. That's mm -hmm. pretty good uh, productivity. Danico Best with the fullback handoff into the end zone, and, and uh, you know, good job by Danico. And uh, your team uh, defensively able to put pressure on Southern Nazarene all night, and uh, we'll see this was with Chris Sarkeesian right here. Right. Uh, this is this is a great effort by Chris. If you see, you know, he, the quarterback kind of gets away, but he keeps coming, gets him from behind, gets him a sack, uh, and we had seven of them the other night, so that was a good thing. This is uh, this is uh, Jake in the ball game now. He gets the uh, quick pass in the flat to Eric Simmons. 
and uh, does a great job of getting him in the ball early again, and Eric is a dynamic runner in space. He does a great job. This is Romo again on the inside handoff, the first phase of the triple option, and uh, he's got good blocking. Quarterback read it well, and uh, this is Romo again with a walk-in uh, off another inside handoff. So. Uh, all phases of the game were working pretty well for us the other night as far as on offense. And the Bisons at the half leading 35 to nothing. So for the second week in a row, very happy going to the locker room with a big lead at the half. Stay with us. We'll come back and look at second half highlights after this. I'm lucky. Let me help you with that. I get to do something I love. It has nothing to do with touchdowns or titles. Everybody bring it in. I get to play a part in the life of someone just starting out. How many of you think homework is just as important as teamwork? I help keep kids in school. Good. And that's the name of the game. My name is LaDainian Thomason. I don't just wear the shirt. I live it. Give. Advocate. Volunteer. Live United. We were drawn here from all 50 states and more than 50 different nations. We are 7,000 students of languages, arts, sciences, and life. As diverse as our origins and as different as our backgrounds are, it's remarkable how much we have in common here in this place of faith, learning, and living. Harding University. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee as we are at halftime of the Bisons coming out a 35-0 lead at the half. And Southern Nazarene, I thought you had to give them credit to begin the third quarter because they really came out and battled your football team very hard in that first series they, of, of the third quarter. They did, Billy. And, you know, I think that's a credit to their coaching staff and, the, you know, the job that they do. Uh, you know, they, they work really hard and, and they came back out in the second half and gave us a fight. They'll uh, on this first series, get the football back uh, after a good return right here from, from Donatello Luckett. Right. Donatello is, is dangerous with the ball in his hands, and we work real hard to try to get it in his hands as many ways as we can, and uh, did a good job on this return. Unfortunately, we had a, you know, a, a block in the back that cost us a little bit on it. Uh, this is Jake on the boot, and uh, you know, he would have liked to have had that one back. We had a couple of miscues on that play including the the throw and uh, so we turned the ball over and we never want to do that big hit here by Philip super Mio. hit by Philip you know that was a critical stop they ended up recovering the football but we ended up stopping them on downs and, and uh, you know uh, we were, were pleased with the way our defense flew around and uh, Southern Nazarene on the board right here at the first point they'll kick the football away it was 35 7 at this point right and this is a uh, Mike Beeland with the ball in his hands and Mike does a great job on returns too, and you can see the extra effort there on that on that return. He was really close, and then I think we got a late flag that gave us an additional 15. And the intensity from your football team, even though you're up 35-7 at this point, it, it never wavered. I know you had to be happy with the execution of that. One thing that, that we really have been pleased with this, this football season and these last two games is the, the fact that we have continued to to execute, you can see right here, this is the trap to Danico Best. Uh, you know, that, that was a good play for us all night long. Had a lot of yardage on that play with our B-backs. Well blocked. Now this is a midline option. Had a miscue there. Ended up being our second turnover. Not happy about that. You know, we'll work hard to get that corrected. And then we come back with a play action pass to Alex Finley from Jake. And uh, wide open is Tello was the first time. Yeah, the second time uh, really on the night that you were able to go up top. Right. Uh, you know, that happens when the secondary starts looking in the backfield. And if they do that, then we, we should make them pay. And we get a, a good look on this series from uh, Alipetti Magale on this drive. Right. Uh, you know, Petty is a talented back, and we, you know, we got Parkin at quarterback, and, uh, you know, a lot of our, our players who work with the second group. And uh, these guys are good football players, and they, you know, they have proved that the last two weeks that we don't we don't lose much when you put this group in there. There's the, the trap to Petty again, and uh, you know, he's in the end zone real quick. 49-14 at this point for the Bisons, and uh, you talked about John Gay with a very busy night. Yeah, that's good. You know, yeah. when you get your kicker busy kicking extra points, that's always a good thing. 
and Southern Nazarene will, will come back and uh, they'll get on the board 49-21, uh, but the Bisons come right back and Park Parrish has been outstanding in the early going. He sure has. You know, Park is a really good runner. He's getting better and better running the offense every time he comes out. We're running a lot of midline with him because he's really good at it and he's reading his keys well. Uh, we've established the fullback, so that makes the defense have to respect that part of it. And then you get Park with a walk-in touchdown. His second touchdown as a Bison, and uh, got a chance to see him after the game. He was very excited. Yeah, well, he he should he should have been. He played really well. Ended up being our leading rusher for the night. Yeah, 84 yards on the night for Park Parish. You know, we we really got pressure on their quarterback all night long. You know, as I said earlier, we had seven sacks, and uh, that's a credit to our defense, our defensive coaches for uh, you know, having a great plan. Park again on the carry. Uh, we run the trap to Petty, and uh, again, he's into the end zone. He's really a player that can give you a lot of depth at that position, isn't he? Yeah, well, and we have really more than him. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we have Russell Ward and uh, Matt Tennyson both have played well for us this year. And uh, those guys, when they get in there, they've done a good job too. And this is Southern Nazarene's last uh, series. Yeah, their quarterback did a great job of staying on his feet there, but we had super pressure on him. And you know, I know our D-line D guys, they were, they were sad that one got away. John Vaughn in this the This is football John game. Vaughn in, in the game. John's an Arkansas kid from Springdale Harbor. And you know, at that point, we had a bunch of our guys in the game that don't get to play very much and very pleased with the way they performed. A lot of numbers on that scoreboard, 63-21 with the Bisons with the victory. And, uh, you know, we talked about it last week when you get a chance to get so many kids in there and play, it's, it's so beneficial because they work so hard through August and the scout team and trying to get you to this point and also able to keep your, your first string and second string healthy. Right, and, you know, that was a positive in this past game because of the quick turnaround, having to play on Thursday night against a really quality opponent, you know, one of the best teams in our conference and one of the best teams in Division II, uh, Southern Arkansas. So the fact that we got to rest some of our older guys was a, was a really good thing. All right, stay with us when we come back on Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. We will visit with two Bisons, Romus Robertson and Park Parrish, and get a final thought from Coach about the trip down to Magnolia on Thursday after this. Okay. I want everyone to go outside. We're going to run Red Rover on three. What about you, Tony? I'm going to run around circles, flap my arms, and make engine noises like this. When it comes to playing, we kids are the pros. We're eating right, too. We fuel up to play 60. If your school doesn't have a program, be a leader. Start one. Click today and join, join the movement. movement. Healing takes time. It also takes knowledge and expertise. Here we learn to reach out to and care for others through the application of medicine and true compassion. We understand that our mission is to take our training and abilities out into the world where they can and do heal the lives of others. For us, that mission began in a place of faith, learning, and living. Harding University. Welcome back to this week's edition of Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. And it's always fun for me to go down to the interview room and, and get to see the players after the game and obviously smiles after a victory like Saturday night. And uh, Romus Robertson and uh, Park Parrish, a couple of great Bisons, had a chance to visit with them after the football game. And uh, they, they talk about the, the victory and also take a look ahead at the game on Thursday night. It, just, it felt really, really good after the bye week. The bye week is really, really long. Just we wanted to get back out there and play because we worked really, really hard these last two weeks, and uh, we came out with a victory. And defense played really great, and offense did their thing too. So yeah, played it. We had a great first half, and uh, a lot of things slipped away for us in the second half. But I mean, we still got the W, and uh, just blessed to be out there, man. I mean, we I'm sure we we'll practice Monday and Tuesday, and Sunday not, of course. But uh, I mean, we're ready. We're ready. We've been waiting for SAU since last year. It's always an exciting game, so we're just ready to make this trip and play. Yeah. Really big. Of course, it's sweet, especially for a lot of the guys who uh, his parents can't make the trip. They can all watch TV and uh, record it for us or whatever. So it's a really, really big deal for us. So we're we're, we're excited about it. Um, it, was, it was a great night for the whole offense. Um, I thought we executed really well. You know, we had two weeks 
Uh, we had that bye week last week, and uh, we practiced really hard. Um, our whole team did a great job tonight executing um, everything that we'd worked these past two weeks. We had a long time to prepare for them, and I thought uh, the offense looked really well tonight. We ran that play um, a few times, and I kind of got a feel for it, how it was going to read. Um, and it just, the line had a huge hole for me. It just, it wasn't very difficult to get in with the blocking that they provided for me. I appreciate Jake and Keenan um, getting the job done so I can get in there a little bit. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. You know, sitting out last year was, was really hard coming in from high school to not being able to play for a year. And it's been a lot of fun and, and uh, good for me to get in there and uh, get a little bit of experience before we get into the road and maybe some tougher teams. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about it. A quick week probably help us because we're pretty excited about it, you know, getting them to play on TV. Um, the guys are really amped for it. Uh, we're going to come back Sunday night, Monday, have a couple good practices and get ready to go Thursday. Thank you. Coach, they both talked about the fact that it was hard to wait during the bye week to get to the game right. week, and you had to be happy with the way not only those two guys performed, but your entire team uh, coming out of a bye week. There was no letdown. Right. Uh, they were hungry to play without a doubt, and uh, you know that's always a good thing you know, when your team is hungry to play, and you hope that that is sustained throughout the rest of the season. Uh, you know, those are two fantastic kids. You know, Romus has, has got a great story. You know, he came here as a walk-on and worked his way up the ranks. And, uh, you know, he is, he's our old man on the interior defensive line and doing a great job for us. And for him to have the productivity he had the other night, you know, 10 tackles, three tackles for loss, two sacks, that's huge, you know. Uh, and uh, Park gets better every day. You know, he is a very talented football player. He's got a great football pedigree. A lot of people don't know that, you know, Harold Horton, a long time coach at Arkansas and director of the Razorback Foundation, is his great uncle. His grandpa, Don, played at uh, Arkansas too. And, uh, you know, Park also, his, you know, his dad is a, is a GAC basketball referee. So he's got a great pedigree and, uh, and he's doing a really good job for us right now. We're excited about the future with Park. But I could not keep them from talking about Thursday night. I think they were excited about the game. National television for the Bisons on Thursday night at Southern Arkansas and uh, a big spotlight on that football game on, on Thursday night and uh, it's getting a lot of, a lot of attention around uh, the state and uh, CBS Sports Network uh, looking forward to that game and uh, you, can, you can also go to hardingsports.com and uh, see where you can see that game uh, if you don't have direct TV or, or Dish Network and I know you're excited to get down there and play. Right. Yeah, it's been one of those unspoken things the last uh, 10 days or so. You know, we don't want to talk about it, but everybody, you know, you have to be honest. Everybody's thinking about it a little bit. And, uh, you know, this is, one of those, uh, this is one of those pivotal games in the conference race. You know, uh, we played a very close game against them last year. Uh, very fortunate to win. Uh, you know, they, uh, they really took it to us, their defense against our offense. Our defense played well and our special teams played well. Uh, but they really hammered us uh, as far as their D against our O. Held us to the lowest total since we've been in this offense. So <clears throat> we are excited about the opportunity to go down there and play. Know that we're going to have a lot of people watching us throughout the country. Spotlight on, you know, Southern Arkansas and Harding and the GAC. So, uh, you know, we're, we're really looking forward to it. With everything going on around the football game, though, you mentioned the fact that both teams with one loss in the conference race. So. With all that said, it's a huge football game in the conference race. It's a huge football game. You know, pretty much uh, if you get two losses, you know, it, it's, it's going to be really tough to, to be involved in the conference race. And, uh, you know, playing a quality opponent like Southern Arkansas, very well coached football team. They have a lot of talented athletes. That's really what you want to do. What you, you know, that's, that's one of the games that you, you sign up to play college football for. So uh, we're really excited about the opportunity. All right, Coach, look forward to watching your football team on Thursday night, and uh, great to be with you as always. Good luck. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Billy. Appreciate it. That's all for this week's edition of Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. We'll see you next time. Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee.